Hello, my name is Anna Kristen. Today we'll be presenting on the character complexity and typology of writing systems. I worked on a project for the Young Scientist program with Dr. McCollin Sandora and Dr. Henderson Cleves. If you're more interested in this project, please see Julia Esposito's talk. There are two main categories writing systems are classified by meaning-based and sound-based writing systems. And then under sound-based, there's two additional categories, syllable-based and consonant vowel-based. Locograms or semantophonetic languages fall under, underneath the meaning-based category. Um, they're sets of characters that have aspects that represent meaning and also sound. Um, and in this example, you can see Mandarin Chinese and Egyptian hieroglyphics. Abugidas or syllabic alphabets are sets of characters that represent whole syllables, are generally consonants, um, sometimes with inherent vowels, or can uh, be diacritics can be added to them to indicate vowels. We have syllabaries, which also fall underneath the syllable uh, category. Uh, syllabaries represent full syllables, um, but they usually contain both consonants and vowels or vowels by themselves. Abjads uh, or consonant alphabets are sets of characters that represent consonants only, sometimes with inherent vowels uh, or modifications that can indicate vowels. And finally, we have alphabets uh, where each character represents either a consonant or a vowel, and they can be combined to create new phonemes. So for our project, we sought to find the um, complexity of different characters of all the world's languages. And to do this, we did um, we took the database from Unicode uh, to analyze uh, all the characters the Unicode could represent. And um, of the 160 Unicode uh, scripts, we were able to represent 120 of them. And typology is broken down as follows. Abugidas were the most represented, then alphabets, then abjads and consonant alphabets. Semantophonetic languages were the least represented. And this is a graph showing the uh, complexity of the different typologies. We would expect, since our complexity metric was based on um, stroke length, stroke count, and similar metrics, that semantophonetic languages would actually have the highest complexity since they have to represent meaning and pictographs. However, um, this is not the case. The black points on this graph uh, depict the average complexity for each uh, typology, and we find the semantophonetic language actually has a lower average complexity than our abugidas, despite the fact that we had to remove several outliers. However, the spread of semantophonetic languages, um, the spread of the data here is very different than alphabets, syllabaries, abjads, and abugidas, which tend to be clustered um, around one area, while semantophonetic languages are spread out more, which would indicate maybe that semantophonetic languages have a more diverse range in their complexity. Thank you so much for listening, and if you want to know more about this project, please see Julia Esposito's talk.